But this is fucked up. I don't think this came as a surprise to anyone who's been paying attention. It was a shock that it happened so soon. And I, like I'm sure many of you, had hoped beyond hope that something would stop it. And I'm still hoping for that, honestly. Uh, and then boom, there it was. And it's not lost on me that they announced this during the Met Gala, whose theme was Gilded Glamour. Uh, it's the 1920s all over again. I'm really fucking angry. Uh, we have a right to our anger. And every one of the representatives who believed any of the justices when they said they wouldn't overturn Roe v. Wade needs to be held accountable for this. This is the first time the Supreme Court will have taken away rights in a very long time. We knew there would be a backlash for Hillary running for president, but wasn't Trump enough? <laughs> this is the result of white supremacist patriarchy. And we have a right to grieve in this moment. People will die because of this. The, the most disadvantaged will turn to back alley abortions. The privileged will travel to states that protect our rights or order the abortion pill through the mail. Uh, thankfully, the ACLU and Planned Parenthood have been preparing for this for a long time since Trump started packing both the Supreme Court and lower courts with anti-abortion judges. If you have the means, please donate to both of those organizations. Donate to ride-sharing programs and groups organizing travel across state lines to get people to clinics. If you can host someone from out of state who needs an abortion, sign up to do so. I've heard many people say they feel guilty for being glad that they live in Massachusetts. Don't feel guilty, feel, feel grateful. Our reproductive rights are safe here, but it's okay to wish that this was true for the whole country, for the whole world. We can use our privilege here to help those in other states who are not so lucky. Conservatives cannot force their views on the world. We know they'll use this as a precedent to take away other rights, which is why we have to stand together against this now. We will keep fighting for 100% bodily autonomy for everyone, starting at the local level. Yeah. Starting with a representative city council, start state representatives and Congress members who share our values, and not just in Massachusetts, but in every state. We will fight against white supremacy and patriarchy and voter suppression. And we won't stop fighting until we have reproductive freedom for all. Thank you. I was 20 and I had a choice. I'm very privileged. We are tired from walking backwards into your world of control. We are enraged from eons of injustice. Our bodies, minds, and souls no longer our own, pillaged for show. We are strong from rising up again and again against the tides that seek to swallow us whole. We emerge from the depths unfettered no one here will wear a letter. Refuse your branding of my sister's choice, and we will cut you down with just our voice. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Michelle, and I live here in Lowell. I'll start here. The decision to terminate a pregnancy is solely up to the person who is pregnant, and it is their right to have access to safe, and legally protected abortion care. I felt compelled to say something today because in moments like this, it can be difficult to keep our anger from paralyzing us. Let's be clear though, our anger and outrage hot and boiling in our gut is completely justified and it should be leveraged as the fire that galvanizes us instead of consuming us. We are here now because of the great many others who have fought and are still fighting for this basic principle. Reproductive rights are human rights, and human rights are non-negotiable. It bears repeating. Reproductive rights are human rights, and human rights are non-negotiable. Remember this when anyone tries to argue, qualify, or compromise your rights, my rights, or anyone else's. Human rights are not up for debate. Restricting access to abortion does not stop it from happening. It merely guarantees it will be unsafe. History tells us, and honestly, the present day tells us that abortion care and reproductive care, no matter how restricted, is always accessible to the wealthy and often the white. Human 
voting rights are not reserved only for those that have money, and they are not dependent on your zip code, the color of your skin, or your religion. Human rights are universal, and they are to be legally protected without question and at whatever cost. In this moment, we owe it to those that came before us and those that will come after us to protect our rights. Be part of the rallying cry across the country and across the world. We will not go back. Reproductive rights are human rights and human rights are non-negotiable. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. <laughs>